Just before this video starts, we wanted to just drop in and let you know that our friends at Jackery are celebrating their nine year anniversary and journey into Europe. That's right, as many of you are now aware, we use and love the Jackery products. They've um, really helped to transform our van life and camping experiences. And we know a lot of you guys are interested in buying one too, and now it might be the best time. Because from the 18th to the 20th of October, there's a 15% sale on all of their products in their official Amazon UK store. Celebrating nine years new journey. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them down below or check out our review we did a few months ago of the Explorer 240. And now let's continue with our little video. Hello and welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. Typically, we just got back to the van and the weather has improved significantly. Significantly indeed, but we're soaking wet and it's time to get inside our warm and lovely, cozy, tiny home and discuss our new gas setup. And that is what this video is all about, gas. So Rufus, should we get the kettle on? Cal's got the heating on, it's time to get warmed up and comfy and cosy in our tiny home. It feels nice. We haven't done this before. We haven't made use of our new um, upgrades. The fan's gonna be on in a minute. We can see the beautiful view from the back windows. Let's get making coffee. Long-term viewers of the channel may remember that we were using a camping gas setup before. That was because it was simple to install, uh, readily available throughout Europe, and it was cheap. The initial setup was really cheap. Um, so that's why we went with camping gas, but it wasn't the perfect option in the long run. And it's starting to get a little bit warm in here with the kettle on boil. So we're gonna pop open the Max Air fan to get some ventilation on the go. So as much as that camping gas setup was perfect for us novices, it did have its problems whilst we were away. It was expensive. At 35 euros a 907 can, it was very expensive and a bit of a shock actually. Um, it wasn't as readily available as we thought. The store locator didn't work very well on the app on the website. And when we ran out, we ran out. There's no gauge to tell us that it's all gone. So after a little bit of research, we decided to go with a gasset setup and we also decided to have all the bells and whistles. Uh, that includes a barbecue outlet, which I'm not sure if we'll ever use, but it's nice to have. Yeah. And also the LED gauge, which will give us an approximation of how much gas we actually have in the tank. Um, the bottle itself is 15 litres. Now, that's nowhere near the biggest they do. However, for an underslung gas tank on a T5, um, and still keeping your spare wheel in place, that's the biggest we could have gone. So we paid £485 for our Gasset 15 litre tank and the kit that you put it in with. Um, and then we also paid £240 to have it professionally fitted. Even though we are aware we could have fitted it ourselves, however, we just didn't feel confident. Even though many of you as well told us that you guys had done it, we still didn't feel competent I think the word is. We've also spent a few more quid on the adapter set which is essential for Europe and um, we'll leave a link to those down below an affiliate link most likely. They're just the kit so you can fill them up at uh, certain LPG stations in certain countries because of course they've all got different size and shaped adapters but of course they have. Um, the only things that we've really had to do surrounding the, um, the gas fitting is to spray the tank with a rubber rubber-based paint to stop um, stone chippings from damaging it 
and you've also wired it in and done all the electrics. Yeah, so like I said before, we've got the LED gauge, which is really helpful, but we've also got an um, electronic switch so we can turn the valve off from inside the van. It's like there's like a solenoid and it's all yeah hooked up. So we just, boof, if we go on a ferry or somewhere, we can just literally press that. Uh, Rufus nearly had the camera over. We can just press that, turn the gas off, which is really handy. We've also had a go at filling it, which is probably the thing we were dreading the most. We've never done it before, so we actually found ourselves looking at videos and reading forums just for a few little tips. So to find out where the LPG stations are around you or on your route, wherever you're adventuring or camping, you can check out My LPG app. And it's an app which locates all of the LPG filling stations in the UK and Europe and tells you um, the price most of the time and the last time it was used and like it's kind of like if you know that it's been used in the last few months, you know it's definitely there as we're kind of being made aware and we kind of knew this in the beginning, LPG filling stations and auto gas is kind of on its way out. But that being said, we were lucky enough to have one relatively close to us. So we went, did our research, filled it up and it was about £7.50 maybe? Yeah. And that should last us at least four times as long as one 35 euro camping gas bottle. So yes, the upfront cost is a lot, but over a long period of time, we're gonna make that money back. And it gives us more confidence because we're just carrying more gas, so you can cook more elaborate meals. Yeah, I can cook things that take longer without mm. feeling guilty about how much gas we're using. And seven quid for three months of gas is amazing. Especially when we consider the only thing we actually use the gas for is cooking and boiling water. The van's feeling really lovely. It's been a long time since we feel as if we've used it properly mm. as a camper van. And yeah, um, we're going away in a couple of weeks to Scotland, so we're really excited for that. And having all of these things ready to go, it's going to be great. So talking of putting things to use, I think it's about time we made some lunch. Mm, definitely. Are, are you hungry? Are you hungry, sir? Mm. Right, let's get cooking. It's been a while. Little mini floor on food, here we come. So I'm now going to be making some perfect for van life quesadillas. So they are a traditionally Mexican dish, but there's gonna be nothing traditional about this. It's gonna be a right little mishmash and um, fusion, I'm gonna call it. So I wanted to um, point out a new ingredient for potentially every van life cupboard. I got these from Sainsbury's. They are plant-based. Peking no duck jackfruit. They come in an assortment of different flavours and things and they've got quite a long shelf life on, which I think is perfect for a van life store cupboard. So we're gonna give them a go. I've had a few before and they've been very nice, but these are Peking duck flavoured jackfruit, but there's no duck in them because they're vegan options. So let's get cooking. Quesadillas, here we come. You can start with, that was delicious, or something to that. <laughs> I'll leave this in the video so people can see. It's all, it's all a lie. That was delicious. <laughs> that was, that was delicious. It was, it was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice, very simple. Nice to have the back doors open, cooking out in the wild again. Although, it may look a bit more wintry than it is. It's only September the 3rd and the weather's gone like that. Summer is officially over and it's a bit of a downer, isn't it? Mm. One thing that we have forgotten to mention up to this point is we've had a little titivation with the spice rack. We've added a little bit of um, grey bungee cord, like a elasticated cord to keep the cups in because they kept falling out every now and again. And we've also put a piece of plywood at the back because there were some kind of nasty marks on the... Um, yeah 
on the carpet where like the uh, metal of the kilner jars had rubbed so that's been blanked off so it looks a bit better too it looks a bit more uniform we were going to cover it with like um, sticks and photos but we think it would have looked too insane too messy too messy too much going on so this was one of the i think bigger upgrades we wanted to do um pretty much as soon as we hit the road in europe we met a few a few other travelers that were like you're on surprised. camping gas yeah they're like oh no 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 so we knew from then uh, that we'd not made the wrong decision but long-term travel ain't the best we needed to change it up and like i know even reminding ourselves that we paid 485 quid it was a little bit of a shock again then to have it fitted as well but you know 10 camping gas bottles could be 350 euros so and we've got a bit more space in the van because like we said it's under slung um we've got a few more uh, with the barbecue outlet and stuff got a few more options available and so. we also can that we've now got a gauge that we can see when it's empty and full yeah we just hope it's going to work fantastically like we think it is. Yeah, I think it will. I'm really happy so far. We've yeah. tested it, make sure the carbon monoxide alarm's up to date and all full of battery and stuff like that. But it just, it's just been working really, really well. So thank you again for following along the journey. We hope this video has been a bit more entertaining. It's not exactly a build video, was it? Like the last, no. we didn't want to go into too much detail at like the last week because it'd been a bit, uh, it's all gone wrong. But then also things haven't gone quite to plan. So it's been a bit like, oh, we're going to need, we, we alluded to all of these upgrades, but we've, they've not gone right. So we need to tell you where we're at with them. So the gas install in the van was all all right. Pretty much, there's a few little things we had to do, but. And we've had it safety checked, yeah, so. so we're pretty happy with it yeah um yeah that's it really we thought we'd come out and do something a bit different today because it's getting a bit tricky just making videos on the drive the inspiration is not there yeah so we had a little day trip today um yeah plenty more videos in the pipeline it's all about when we get to film them and edit them with the time that we have and work commitments so we do hope that you've enjoyed the video today give us a like give us a thumbs up and if you're not already make sure you're subscribed and I suppose we'll see you in the next one. Indeed. Toodaloo.